Hey, Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement. One of the places that Easter sheds light on in our lives is the reality of this, that our most pressing need isn't our primary need. We all know the pressing needs around us. We share many of them. Just, I mean, just take a look at the news, the deep division in our country, in the world, the uncertainty on so many fronts, our economy, our denomination, and yet another school shooting. But Easter reveals our primary need, and our primary need is one that we all share, and that is forgiveness. For everything that stands between our sinful selves and a perfect God to be removed. That's what happened on that Good Friday 2,000 years ago and on that first Easter. Christ purchased our forgiveness and made us right before God. So listen, absolutely take your pressing needs before God. God wants to hear them and God longs to intervene. But give thanks that God is taking care of your primary need. You are forgiven. 1 Peter 2, 24 says this, He himself bore our sin in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. I hope you'll find some place to celebrate uh, the great, perfect, good news of this season. A place to remember the passion of Christ on Friday and then a place to celebrate in a community of faith on Easter Sunday. We'd love for you to join us here at Trinity on the Hill. We'll be having a 7 a.m. sunrise service on Easter Sunday and a 9 a.m. 9 a.m. worship service. Hope to see you and be blessed.